been a long quest, but there is gold at the end of the rainbow. So here I am, back at work, teaching people how to ride motorcycles in the sand. So yeah, great day, they've learnt a lot and um, they're coming along really well. Magic day, magic spot. Cheers. We are, we are very impressed with the amount of local content that is being So I had to move some cows. Now I thought I usually do this on either a motorbike or the or the quad quad bike. So instead I thought I'll use my drone. And um, yeah, it worked really really well. They were a bit hesitant first off, but then they just moved beautifully, and um, they all stayed together. And I could control which way I needed to send them. And uh, yeah, absolutely incredible. So off they went. We put up the borders, the borders into our boxes. Can't you see now the locksmith lies stoking up the national pride, but are keeping all the wealth inside. We put up the borders, the borders into our boxes Can't you see now the locksmith lies Stoking up the national pride But keeping all the wealth inside We're putting up the borders To keep out the needy man Borders to protect the greedy man Borders to keep all the living men Now I managed to get the cows exactly where I wanted them in the next paddock and I thought how good is this and then I realised I still need to go and close the gate so oh well back on the bike and um, yeah I left England now four weeks ago maybe more than four weeks ago bottle opener doesn't work yeah and um, and I've been to every single what we call bottle shops um, off licenses off license in England I've been to every single bottle shop in our hometown I've been to every single bottle shop in the next hometown oh yeah he's a big boy I don't know where his head is well hopefully it's at the other end well he, he was moving that way no, he's a, oh, there oh there he is oh yeah he's a big is he python or what is he yeah, he's python. It's a python? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, he's not venomous. He won't die, he won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's our pet little, little snakey in the house. And where are you, big boy? What do you want to call him? He's big. <laughs> he's doubled over. So where's he gone? He's over here. He's in this Alflex box. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. <laughs> so apparently this is a python, but I think it looks exactly. Stop, stop, stop yeah, it! Quick, stop it! Quick, 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 no! Quick, quick. Let me out of here. <laughs> He's coming! You <laughs> <laughs> He's just kidding. <laughs> so here's Ben's little snake. What number snake is this? How many have we had now, mate? This is four. This is snake number four. It's the smallest so yeah. far. Or no, five, because that was one in the bathroom that I saw. So this is snake number five in how many weeks? Two and a half, three. Two and a half weeks, five snakes. This little carpet python. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cute. It is. So how do you tell it's not poisonous? Well, the width of the head, right? The, the head is wider than the body, as you can see here. Right? And you just know what they look like. Just remember. Yeah. After you see hundreds of them, you know which ones are dangerous and which aren't. Alright, I'm gonna go. So yeah, just let him go. I found him inside my boots when I put my boots on. Maybe I'll release him near my home so he dissuades. Yeah. There you go, let him go in the basil plant. Dissuades other snakes. And the next town. Um, no joy. So, 
we've now driven nearly 900 kilometers and I can hear England and I now have in front of me Nectar of the Gods so let's see how well it's traveled well it's been a month getting to this stage but uh, we've got all the bikes loaded they're all on the, on the back of the uh, trailer and um, yeah we're heading north we're heading up to a place called Cairns where the tour starts from so yeah it's taken me a month to get uh, all the cyclone damage sorted and um, and get the bikes ready but uh, yeah we're off we're off back to work here I go see you guys there's yeah, some of the big things Australia has to offer big crabs here we are at Cardwell on the way to Cairns um, just had our first overnight stop and uh, it's about to have a bit of breakfast and in the background here you can see the Coral Sea which, um, well the Pacific Ocean and we are heading north so we're heading that away I'd normally pour this in a glass but um, the glasses here are like, like shot glasses um, and I can't be bothered getting room service to get me a glass so here we go Now for those of you that have watched this channel long enough, you know exactly what I'm going to say. And this one, it's travelled well. It's travelled very well. It's not bad. Right, I've had to drive 880 kilometres, but yes, I found it. So Ben, is this what uh, all the uh, the best dressed tour guide mechanics wear these days? Absolutely. Just yeah. got to be bright colours. Look at this, mate. Out. This is what they look like. Pretty cool. Thank you. I'll make sure you be seen tonight. <laughs> Another breakfast. Another day. Ready to ride. was a farmer and he sent his and they had two so this one I'm going to savour tonight uh, and enjoy over the course of the next hour or so but the next bottle of godly juices I'm going to keep for special like maybe the birth of my first grandchild or something um it's going to be kept in a, I'm going to weld up a steel locker and I'm going to attach that right next to my gun safe, or maybe inside my gun safe, um, which is bomb proof, bullet proof and fire proof and theft proof. And I'm going to keep it in there until that special occasion arises when there is nothing else, not even a 61 Moe um, would come up against one of these. So I'm going to do that with the other bottle. I'm going to save it and uh, enjoy it. And the funny thing is, oh, any uh, any hints, any word of advice to fellow watchers? Yep. Just try and push the guy next to you off. Push the guy. You want to be the winner here, Ed. Uh, going to kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Anything for the for the fans? I'm going to push him over. Push him over. What about the ring in? How are you going to work? How are you going to plan this? I'll let them all fall. Let them fall? What about you, mate? Go, get What's your finish, ideas? Get to the finish line as fast as I can. Nice, nice. As fast as you can. <laughs> Alright, on your mark. 
Get set. Go. Rocks and just put them over here so it's rolled right over. Come on, three of us got the last one out. One, <laughs> two, three, go. These were in the like super cold fridge department of the um, of the pub I found them in. So it's taken me 20 minutes to get them to drinking temperature. Um, but wow, I need one more and then say goodbye. Not bad. Cheers. So this is the Frenchman's track and it looks like we are the first bikes. I don't know, we might not be the first bikes, but um, there's no real bike tracks here this year. So uh, yeah, who knows? We might be the first through in 2017. Another day at work. See ya.